a useful idea to keep in mind. Arithmetic is bookkeeping. How many of what? An exponential expression like 3 to the fifth power tells us there are five factors of 3. What happens when we multiply or divide them? For example, let's try to simplify the product 3 to the second times 3 to the fourth. In this case, we'll take simplify to mean rewriting as an exponential expression with fewer terms. So remember, definitions are the whole of mathematics. All else is commentary. 3 to the second is the product of two factors of 3. And 3 to the fourth is the product of four factors of 3. So we can rewrite our exponential expressions And remember, arithmetic is bookkeeping. How many of what? We have six factors of three. So we can rewrite this in exponential notation. Or let's say we multiply a to the second times a to the fifth. So a to the second is two factors of a times a to the fifth, that's five more factors of a, and arithmetic is bookkeeping, how many of what? We have seven factors of a, so we can rewrite this as a to the seventh. We can turn this into a product rule. We shouldn't. Don't memorize formulas. Instead, understand concepts. In this case, multiplication by a to the nth power increases the number of factors of a by n. Well, you're probably wanting for a formula anyway, so here goes. Since a to the nth is the product of m factors of a, and a to the nth is the product of n factors of a, then a to the nth times a to the nth will be m factors of a multiplied by n factors of a. And arithmetic is bookkeeping. We have m plus n factors of a, and so we can rewrite this as a to the m plus nth power. And this gives us the product rule for exponents. If we multiply two exponential expressions with the same base, the product will have the same base, and the exponent will be the sum of the exponents. So let's simplify a to the second times a to the fifth. Remember, understand concepts. Don't memorize formulas. So really, what we're doing is a to the second times a to the fifth is two factors of a times five more factors of a, which is seven factors of a, But we could also use our theorem. a to the second times a to the fifth is a to the two plus five, a to the seventh. It's important to understand that theorems and formulas are kind of like power tools. If you understand what you're doing and take safety precautions, you'll be okay. But if you're not careful, you can really mess things up. So here we might say that's a product. So if we use our product rule, we can add the exponents and then do something with the bases and we get a, b to the eighth. But this would be incorrect. So remember, understand the concept, don't memorize the formula. If we rely on the concept of an exponent, a to the third is three factors of a, b to the fifth is five factors of b, and while we have eight factors, there are two different types, a and b. So we can't do anything with this expression. It's as simplified as it can be. What about something like this? So again, we don't actually need the rules of exponents to simplify this expression. Instead, we note that we have three factors of a, three factors of b, two more factors of a, 
and five more factors of b. So altogether, we have five factors of a, written a to the fifth, and eight factors of b, written b to the eighth, which are all multiplied together, and so we can write Or we can use our formula. So remember, we can rearrange a product in any order. So we'll put all the a's and all the b's together. And our product rule says that if we have the same base, we'll add the exponents. So we'll have a to the power 3 plus 2 times b to the power 3 plus 5. Or Doing the addition, a to the fifth times b to the eighth. 